Here on the right, we can see there is a new Kubernetes cluster running 115.1. If we look at the Cube system namespace, Portworks is currently not running. We can check this by filtering for the name equals Portworks in that namespace. Just to verify any PX central pieces, we'll grip for PXC as well and see there's nothing that comes back. Now we'll go ahead and install central on our on-prem cluster. These are the parameters we're going to be using, a password and endpoint IP. There's many others, so definitely check out the help for the installation script. Once you run it, you'll get some output and you'll see the components start to get installed and become ready. All the components will be installed, including a Portworx cluster. So you will have to uh, make sure your nodes have eight gigabytes of memory and four CPUs for this installation, as well as a spare disk for Portworx to install. Once it's complete, the central on-prem and Portworx should both be installed and you can visit your PX central endpoint and the administrative passwords are also output. Once you log in, you can see that there's no clusters currently in, in the central dashboard. We can go ahead and add our PX central cluster because itself is a Portworx cluster. Once verified, we can go ahead and add our cube config for this Kubernetes cluster as well, where Portworx is running. Once we copy that, we can put it into the cube config spot here and verify our cluster and submit it. Now PX Central has a single cluster where you can also add many clusters if you manage them on-prem or in the cloud. It gives you some basic information around nodes and volumes and drives, Kubernetes versions, Portworx versions, and the endpoint associated. Now if we go back and check our Kubernetes cluster and look for Portworx, we can see that indeed that Portworx is installed as part of our PX Central on-prem deployment. And if you're familiar with uh, Lighthouse for Portworx, Central has this all built in. So this will seem familiar in terms of browsing your nodes and volumes, as well as drives in Central. Central also comes with a license server to manage your license for Portworx. And a built-in metrics dashboard that you can go to using the admin account. And you can grab that from Central itself if you want to. Once logged in, this should look familiar if you've deployed our logging integration, but it automatically gets deployed as our PX Central installation does it for us and you have the node and cluster dashboards that are usually there. Now, if I go back here to PX Central, you can see we still have our one on-prem cluster, which is running our central deployment. But if I had more clusters, I'd want to go ahead and go to add clusters. And here I have three clusters. The one in the middle is the one that's running our central cluster already. The one on the right is an AWS EC2 based deployment in the cloud. And on the left is another on-prem cluster. Here you can see 115 in the cloud and 116.8 on-prem. So let's go ahead and grab the IP to connect to our cloud-based deployment cluster, verify that cluster, and grab the cube config from that cluster. Once we grab that cube config, we can verify it and add it to our dashboard. You can see that cluster pop up and we see that it's running 115 Kubernetes and PX version 2.2, whereas our initial one is running 
If we dive in here to our Lighthouse dashboard, we can see it actually is running in Amazon uh, by clicking on one of the nodes. Now let's go add our other cluster on-prem and we'll grab the PXIP and go back to add cluster, verify this cluster and grab the cube config as we did before. Once we have that cube config, go ahead and verify it again and submit it. And now we have all three of our clusters deployed and uh, being managed centrally under PX Central, which is really the benefit here. And the nice part is we can see and manage all three clusters individually, uh, see their versions and where we're at, and manage the licenses associated with them. So we can go and set the licenses here because our central deployment is our license server. And we go ahead and select which features we want to use, submit those to the cluster that we want to integrate with. Go ahead and check our clients that we just added. And here we can see our three clients that now have those licenses and, and least features. They'll also show up as used in those features. And that is how we manage Portworx on-prem.